Hello everyone, and welcome to a uh, special video that I decided I wanted to do for everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, effectively green screen, as you can see, in OBS. Uh, one of my friends, uh, another YouTuber by the name of Chaotic HD, asked me how do we get such a clean background for our uh, green screen. Well, I can turn off the filter really fast so you can see that. This is the first thing you want to do, turn off the chroma key. You can see that the green screen is behind us. Now the colors that are you're seeing from the Logitech aren't actually this, this isn't actually this kind of like seafoam green. It's actually very neon for whatever reason the Logitech likes to replicate it as a seafoam. Whatever, that's fine. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is add, uh, I'm gonna move OBS now so you're gonna get like a weird kind of filter thingy going on over here. You're gonna get like super mega replicate layers. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in OBS, I will full screen this for you, is, oh, let's move me out of the way. How's that sound, hmm? That sounds good. Is add your, sort, your video source right here. So you'd right click, add video capture device, and that would be what I'm using, the Logitech C920. And then you're gonna right click on that, go into filters, and then add effect filter, add chroma key, and everything you see here is stock. I haven't changed anything. It all seems to work out pretty well. Um, there might be a little bit of a video delay sync just because of uh, how the video is captured, but nevertheless, it's close enough. And um, this, is, this is to effectively edit it in post. So now what I'm going to show you is uh, when you have the green screen like this, and say you don't want any of this stuff behind it, you want just the green screen, if you have, for some reason when I edit it in Premiere, it doesn't ever get like that perfect flat green like this. You see how there's shadows, there's shadows over here, and everything like that. That's It's just not going to work well. So, we leave that on, and you see how there's that gray background behind me now, right? Well, that doesn't stay when you export the file, so what we do is I make sure that we are full screened, and then I made a, uh, a color, a 10, 1920 by 1080p format uh, green screen. So when we export, you get this behind us. We get the little green flat, and it's a perfect, there's no shadows, there's nothing, and Premiere can perfectly export it because for some reason OBS doesn't export with the transparency. And if you want to make this, all you have to do, let me turn this off and bring myself back down over here. All you gotta do, I made it myself, all you gotta do is go into GIMP right here, make sure actually OBS is still seeing all this, cool. Go to File, make a new one, make sure that it's 1920 by 1080. Get your little filler tool right here, and the color code for this neon green is 00FF00. Paint it export it, name it whatever you want, add it as an image, just like as if you edit it as a video source. I'll bring this back over now that you can see it. Add it as an image right here if you add image and then I already have it in here. I called it the green chroma, but you can call it whatever you want to call it. And then it turns into this bad boy. Boom. And now that perfect green screen is there. And now once you've done that and the video has stopped recording in OBS, all you have to do, go into Premiere, Hopefully it'll actually boot quickly this time, even though I'm running an i7 5820K and 16 gigs of DDR4, this thing is such a resource hog. It takes forever to boot, and it's installed on my solid state drive. Still, just absolutely no excuses. Bring in some footage that has uh, some green screen behind it. We'll bring in episode 17 of Resident Evil, for example. Bam. You can see that the green screen is behind it. Looks great, fantastic. All you gotta do is go to your effects, Type in ultra. This is your ultra key, ultra key, also known as your AKA uh, chroma key. Drag and drop it onto the green screen like such. Go to your effect controls and you can see that it says ultra key right here. And instead of trying to dial in the green like this, just hit your little teardropper, click that and boom. You can see the green's now been removed. There is an alpha channel here. That's what it's called when you want to get the transparency behind you. And if you move this up one track or two, it doesn't matter how many you want ever behind it, and then add whatever footage you want underneath it, you now have just the subjects that are not green in the video. And one thing I do want to show everybody before uh, we get too far with it, I want to bring this in. I want to show you that you can see that uh, at the footage, you can see that, uh, let's tilt the key this in. You can see that there's like kind of this like 
draggly outline. There's kind of like this black outline. All you got to do is when you're on your green screen, go to matte cleanup and then adjust the choke. And we're just going to crank it way to the max just so you get like an extreme effect. You can see it's completely gone now. And control Z that, you can see that that just returned. So that's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to uh, green screen and uh, green screening in OBS. It's really not too terribly difficult. It all comes down to whatever you do in post, and that's super important. I hope this answered any questions that you may have, and if uh, I didn't, feel free to leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer them to the best of my ability, and uh, I will respond to as many people as possible. Just try to make sure that when you ask the question, it's as clear as you can ask it so I can answer it to the best of my ability. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.